Big event going to be going on over at Beaverdale Books. Want to let you know about Failed is the name of a book. We have the author, Mark Weisbrot, uh, with us right now. We thank you for coming in. We appreciate that. Thanks. Now, tell everybody what time you're going to be over at Beaverdale Books. Oh, I don't remember the time. <laughs> <laughs> How about 6.30? We'll say you'll be there at 6.30. That's 630, right. okay? 6.30. So you show up at that time, you have a yeah. chance to, to meet him. What is the book all about? Well, it's about failure, economic failure, and how it happens, and when institutions get corrupted and they're not doing what they're supposed to do. For example, obviously in the United States, we had a regulatory failure when the Federal Reserve didn't prevent this giant housing bubble from growing and then bursting and causing the Great Recession. And right now, of course, you had the Federal Reserve, if you want to take that as an example, because mm -hmm. central banks are a big part of the problem. You know, they're, uh, they're supposed to look out for everyone. The, the Central Bank of the United States is supposed to care about employment, not just uh, inflation. And they raised interest rates in December. And now we're finding out maybe that was a mistake. Well, there are a lot of economists who said that. So why do they do that? There's only one, in the, you know, it's an issue in the presidential race, for example. Bernie Sanders has said, well, you know, you have to, you have a, this institution is captured. Uh, four out of the 12 uh, presidents this year of the regional feds are going to be from one company, from Goldman Sachs. So. Uh, there, you know, most people don't even know what the Fed does. The Fed is really uh, more than any other, uh, more than even the Congress or the President, determines what kind of unemployment we're going to have in this country. You know, what your chances are of getting a job, whether your wages are going to go up. And when they raise rates, like they did in December, they're basically saying, okay, we're going to put more people out of work. It's not a side effect. That's actually what they're doing. We're going to put more people out of work to put downward pressure on wages because we think uh, inflation might go up. And as you know, inflation is very low, even by the Fed's own measure, favorite measure. Mm -hmm. It's way below their own target. So why did they do it? That's the question. Now, Jason, we were talking. About. Well, I guess, oh, go ahead. Uh, I'm sorry. We were, we were talking earlier. Uh, we had someone on talking about they expect the rates to be adjusted, what, four times in the next year? Well, we had an expert on and a mortgage expert who thought we'd see one or two more adjustments. But uh, what you're saying is that they might actually adjust it back the other direction. Well, that, that, I think they should, but they're not talking about that. Yeah, they won't be raising it as much as they thought they were because they were wrong. And it was kind of obvious uh, they were wrong. You know, as I said, by their own measure, they have a target of 2%. Uh, they use uh, a particular measure uh, of, of inflation. Uh, and that inflation was only, it's only at 1.4 percent. Of course, the consumer price index is even lower than that. And uh, so they didn't really have a good reason uh, for doing this. But again, if nobody's, uh, they're not held accountable. Right. You know, and that's why, for instance, Sanders said they shouldn't be raising interest rates until unemployment falls below four uh, percent. You know, we had four percent unemployment back in 2000, and that's what they really should be concerned about. Again, because you know most people need a job, and even if you have a job, you know you want to be able to get an increase in wages, and you're not going to get that if the Fed is is pushing up unemployment even when there's there's no threat of inflation. And there is no accountability. There are Republican candidates calling, uh, we've heard the phrase, audit the Fed and, and, and kind of open up this black box. Is there anything to that? Is that a good idea? Oh, yeah. And it's not just Republicans. It was a bipartisan. Bernie Sanders, for example, he supported an audit of the Fed, too. But again, Wall Street has so much power uh, that it, it couldn't, uh, couldn't make it through Congress. Talk about power. And you mentioned Goldman Sachs now. Uh, these are people uh, who, who, when the, the bubble burst, these people ended up inadvertently destroying millions of lives when this happened. Uh, people were out of work. I lost a job. I don't know if you guys did because of that. Mm -hmm. Nobody has gone to jail. And that speaks to what you just said, the power uh, of Wall Street. That's another uh part of it, too big to fail and too big to jail. I mean, that's one of the problems that you have here. And that's why you have it, you know, again, it did become something of an issue. Uh, and it, it really has to be more. People have to understand what the Federal Reserve does, how important it is, that it really does determine the employment and the unemployment rate. You know, even though unemployment is 5% now, which is a lot better than it was, obviously, mm -hmm. back in 2009, it was, you know, twice that level. Uh, but nonetheless, uh, you have a lot of people, a lot more people out of work than that. You have, we're down about 3 million jobs from where we should be if you look at the employment rate, uh, you know, back before the Great Recession. So uh, again, uh, these are the issues that really matter most. 
and these uh, financial institutions are so powerful that they not only prevent their own uh, regulation, but they determine these most important policies that determine, uh, that decide whether or not, you know, what your chances are of getting a job or a wage increase. And Mark, can you give us a little bit of a back, your background and why you would write a book called Failed? Oh, well, I'm an economist. I've been working on these issues for the last uh, uh, 20 years, actually. And so the idea of the book was to show how these great failures uh, take place. And I didn't focus so much on the United States. I focused more on the rest of the world. You know, for example, Europe has twice the unemployment rate that we do. And that's because uh, their policymakers, their uh, central bank for the Eurozone, were even worse, uh, much worse than here. And uh, they really had a political agenda. They wanted to change that society. And it shows what happens again when you have even less accountability than we had here. You're obviously a very smart man, and these are all issues that are very pertinent to us right now as we try to decide who we want to be our next president of the United States. But is this something that anybody can pick up and read? I'm like, am I, am I going to understand what's going on when you're talking about the Eurozone and what's happening with our Federal Reserve? Or, or is this for people that are really interested in uh, numbers and what's happening with the economy? No, I don't I don't think it's that technical. I think it is. It is readable, and I think that's one of the you know important things. I know everybody can read everything and they can't pay attention to all the details, uh, but some of it is very straightforward. Like we you know we're just talking about right. here. Right. It's it's really important policies that are made in this case by the central bank of the United States every six weeks, and it affects millions of people. And uh, you know a lot of people know it, but it's not talked about so much as it should be in these public discussions in even the presidential debates. And you can talk and, about it with Mark a little later on, about 6.30 or so. Beaverdale Books failed what the experts got wrong about the global economy a little later on tonight. Well, thank you, Mark, for coming thank over. Thank you very Thanks much. Thanks so much. Thank Thanks you. for making the journey thank over. Great to be with you.